superior vena cava onto the right atrium through the tricuspid valve and lodging into the wall of the right ventricle. Can you turn off the pad? Capturing. Getting a native heart rate of 36. No, that won't do. Let's get him to 50. The healer with his magic powers. I could rub his gentle brow for hours. His manly chest, his stubble jaw, everything about him leaves me raw. Psych wards upstairs. With joy. Oh house, your very name will never leave this girl the same. It's not bad for an 82 year old. She asked me to give that to her true love. I say, chicks with no teeth turn me on. That's fairly disgusting. And that's ageism. You better watch yourself around this, babe. Here are test results. Impressive. Yeah. I found the pesticide. It's diesel photon. And it's empty. He used up the whole can. OK, I'll get a chase on it. The poison's called diesel photon. This should bomb with it and neutralize the poison. Then his nervous system will start sending the correct signals to the rest of his body. But there was no diesel, well, that stuff in that can. The label says diesel photon, I can show you. But you didn't test it. You said Matt sprayed with it this morning before school. Matt started that garden himself for an environmental science class. They weren't allowed to use pesticides. Apparently he cheated a little. It was orange peel oil, totally organic. He dumped that other stuff last winter. The symptoms fit. There must have been some left in the can. If you're wrong, what will this treatment do to him? Well, theoretically, it could increase the toxicity and... But we're not wrong. Don't. We're not wrong. I can't let you do this. Get a court order. Unless you want to see someone killed by sheer irrationality. Maternal instinct is always irrational. Doesn't mean it's wrong. Actually, that's the definition. It doesn't make her mentally incompetent. She is risking her son's life based on a teenager's claim that he washed something. How mentally incompetent can you get? That's a brilliant legal argument. Listen, have your Harvard law dog whip up some high-grade legal-sounding psychobabble. Temporary insanity brought on by acute panic distress syndrome. I don't care. We have to give him the hydrolase. Her only sign of mental illness is that she disagrees with you. Some would consider that a sign of sanity. Not the kid. Let's ask him. Oh, no, I forgot. We can't. He's dying. Get the mother to sign off that she's refusing this treatment. I, Margot Davis, have been informed of the risks which may arise from my refusal of advised medical care. I hereby release... Who are you? I work for the hospital. The Princeton Plainsboro Teaching Hospital and its employees, agents, and otherwise from any adverse medical conditions resulting from my refusal. It is not the hospital's fault if my son kicks off. Kicks off? I punched up the language, mostly for clarification. I understand my doctors consider my decision to be completely idiotic. Why are you doing this? But I am convinced I know more than they do. I took a biology course in high school. I assume that's... yeah. Besides, I enjoy controlling every single aspect of my son's life, even if it means his death. Sign here, please. I brought a pen. Who are you? I'm the doctor who's trying to save your son. You're the mom who's letting him die. Clarification, it's a beautiful thing. She rethought her position. 
start him on the hydrolase. No. We've got a problem. Three, one, two, three. Heart rate's 49. O2 stat, 84 and falling. Silene, atropine and diazepam now. His name is Chi Ling. He was admitted 12 minutes ago. Identical symptoms as Matt. Chase isn't sure he's gonna make it. neighbor by any chance they live 10 miles apart apparently they don't even know each other in an apartment, we have two bamboo trees, no pesticides, <laughs> just dry seaweed for fertilizer. The second kid's heart is almost as weak as Matt's. We may need to get a wide up too. And I don't know how long Matt's brain will hold up. His heart's not pumping enough oxygen. How much are you giving him? 80%. They get 90. We're risking damage to his retina. What the heck? Do it anyway. He's a calculus student. Probably likes having a brain. I'll have Foreman take care of it. I'm the primary. Yeah, but the mom wants to get rid of you. You know me, I'm a people-pleasing kind of guy. Well, she complained? About me? She went to the principal, told Cuddy you took drugs in high school. This is gonna go on your permanent record. I was trying to get information. It was a strategy. She also used the word slacker. You wanna come in, smoke a little weed, watch some MTV? High school has no idea what could have happened. You sure that Chi didn't sneak out to Matt's tomato patch? Maybe they sniffed Dysel Photon together to get high. Same school, different grades, different cliques, different everything. They managed to get poisoned together. They must have something in common. <laughs> Their classes aren't even in the same building. They don't even eat lunch in the same lunchroom. How do they get to school? Unless you're with the board, the police, or the union, I don't care who you are. Sir, we need to test the bus for chemical residue. And I need to pick up the basketball team. You got a problem with that? Call my supervisor. Two kids were poisoned on your bus this morning. They're dying. My God, the things he said. Dr. House wanted your son to get the medicine he needed. He was willing to do whatever it took to make that happen. The wrong kind of medicine. He didn't know that. At the time, it was our only choice. He would have known if he had listened to me. He listened. He just assumed you were wrong. But to be honest, that's true of most of our patients. <laughs> You're just as pompous and superior as he is. Uh, Matt is back row right, the Asian kid uh, first or second row left. Okay. Look, I got this rash in kind of my groin region. It's um, not a symptom. Neither is being obnoxious. Looks like you're in the clear. 